Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashley and Chewbacca. <laughs> she just decided to come out and play today. No, but seriously, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, what is up? I am Ashley, I'm pretty normal over here. So uh, subscribe and turn on that bell so that way you guys don't miss any notifications from me. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a foolproof, sweatproof, not waterproof makeup tube because I've already done one of those in the past. I'll actually list it in the cards if you guys haven't seen that already. But I was really inspired to create this because I live in Florida, it's humid AF. Oftentimes when I walk outside, I feel like I'm walking in a sauna. Like it is so hot. I feel like my makeup is going to melt off of my face. So I wanted to share with you guys some foolproof, sweatproof, products that you guys can wear this summer season if you do live in an area that's hot, like Florida, or not. I'm gonna go, let's watch the video. To get started, I'm gonna start off with my brows. And today I'm using this guy. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Frame and Set in the shade Deep Brunette. It comes with a brush, so I will be using the brush that it comes with. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this stuff. Now, a little bit does go a very long way. And what I like to do is I like to just underline my brows on the very bottom with a very light hand. I think I should kind of move this mirror so you guys can see what it is that I'm doing. So I'm gonna take some of the product and I'm just going to drag it underneath my brow. Now using a pomade is really going to ensure that your brows are gonna stay on all day. This is gonna work really well for those of you guys who have very little brows and you're afraid they're gonna wipe off. Then I'm just going to flip the brush over and brush it out. There is quite a difference between this brow and this brow. This one is a lot more sparse towards the end and this one is just more defined, but it's not like Sharpie brow, if you get me. Honestly guys, I really love this color. It's not too warm and it's not too ashy. It's honestly the perfect shade for my brows. Like I said, this one is in the shade Deep Brunette. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to underline my brow. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Brow Precise Perfecting Highlighter. And I'm gonna drag this directly underneath my brow. I'm also gonna take it all over my eyelid, which is gonna act as a really nice base for priming our eyelids before eyeshadow. With my Morphe M433 brush, I'm just going to gently blend out this product. After underlining my brows, I am going to set my brows with a little bit of brow gel by Pixie. And this is really gonna ensure that they stay in place all day. Since we're going for a makeup look that's going to take us the distance, I will be working with creams on my eyes, which is a little bit different. But like I said, I do want long, sweat-proof makeup. You know what I mean? So today I will be going in with the L'Oreal Paints Eyeshadows. This one is in the shade Brown Sugar. It has a deep brown color and a very light brown color. Now I will be using the light brown color today. I'm gonna take a little bit of this on the back of my hand, just kind of using it as a palette. And I am gonna go in with a synthetic blending brush and rock this back and forth into my crease to act as my transition color. You definitely want to use a synthetic haired brush anytime you are working with creams, but that blended out really nicely in my crease and it's gonna stay put all day. I literally have one thumb painted. One thumb. <laughs> no judgment. No judgment. <laughs> How wrong. After applying that cream, I am gonna go in with a little bit of powder from the NYX Contour Palette, and I'm just going to mix some brown shades together and just set that cream. And I am using a Morphe M433 to do that. All right, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with another cream product. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Lingerie Lid Eye Tint. This one is in the shade Rose Pearl. Mm, I like, I like it a lot. And pretty much that's what the color looks like. It's a really pretty kind of like pinkish rose gold shade. And I am going to apply this directly on to my lid and I am going to be using the Sigma Concealer F70. Taking a little bit off of the back of my hand, I'm just going to pack it right here onto my lid. And then I'm going to blend it out with a synthetic brush. Now, one thing I will say is when you are working with creams like this, you do want to work rather fast because they do set very quickly. So as I'm applying this to my lid, I am blending it out at the same time. Then going in with a little bit of that powder, I'm just going to blend it into that lid color. 
to tight line today, I will be using this L'Oreal mascara. And tight lining is going to give the illusion of thicker, fuller lashes. Now to smoke things out a little bit, I will be taking the Morphe M508 and I'm gonna take a little bit of that black liner and I'm just going to smudge it on my lash line. Also gonna take a little bit of this onto a pencil brush and smudge it for more of a blown out look. And to really mattify that smoked out liner, I will be taking a black from the Mad4 Matte Palette and then just pressing it on top. All right, making progress. So the next thing you wanna do is apply mascara. I will be using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. This one actually is not waterproof, but I definitely recommend going in with a waterproof mascara. They're not my favorite, they're not my thing. I only own one and since I don't like them, I don't purchase them in drugstore version. The other one I have is high end. It is a Too Faced waterproof one. So um, yeah, one waterproof mascara is all I will need but I'm just gonna apply this. I know that they sell this in waterproof, so go get you some. So I am going to apply quite a bit of mascara because I will not be applying a full strip of false lashes. I'm gonna kind of do like an accent lash towards the very end, but for the most part, these are gonna be my own lashes. Oh girl, look at them lashes, look at them lashes. Honestly, probably don't even need to add the accent lash, but I think I'm gonna do it to be a little bit more flirty, a little bit more cute. So I am going to be taking the Demi Wispies by Ardell. These are drugstore. I'm actually just going to cut the tail of it about this much of the eyelash. Now, since these Demi Wispies do flare out a lot, I'm actually not going to apply the end. I'm going to apply the front piece right here towards the very end of my real lashes. Now this is a great way to apply falsies, like if you don't know how, um, it's super duper easy to just apply an accent lash. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to apply it right there. So I'm gonna get some glue and glue it down. Like that instantly adds more drama. It looks super duper natural and they are so pretty. So if you are struggling with like putting on lashes, try an accent lash, especially the Ardell ones because they're super duper thin at the band. So it doesn't really feel like you have anything on. And then what I like to do after that is I like to just apply a little bit more of the mascara to kind of blend in those lashes. So now that our eyes are pretty much done, I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face. The first thing I'm gonna do is spray a little bit of the Prime Correct and Set by Milani. It says, make it last 16 hour wear. Since we are going for more of a sweat proof, long wearing makeup look, I'm gonna spray a little bit of this to my face. I'm gonna let that sink into my skin a little bit. Drink some water while I wait. <sighs> Gotta stay hydrated. Gotta stay hydrated. The next thing I'm gonna do is go in with a little bit of my NYX Shine Killer because it's hot, we don't wanna look greasy. So I'm gonna take a pea-sized amount of this guy and I'm going to pop it in my T-zone, typically all the areas where I know I'm gonna get oily. And this just like instantly mattifies the skin. The foundation I chose for this particular video is a Revlon Color Stay Foundation. One of the main reasons I picked this up is I did a video a while back, it was waterproof makeup. I wore this in the pool and it did not budge. So I know it's gonna stay on your face all day long, sweat proof, this is it. Um, I don't know any other sweat proof makeup in the drugstore other than Revlon Color Stay, so I'm gonna mix these two shades. I have 310 and 250. So I completely forgot that I got the Clarisonic brush head in the mail, and I am so stoked to blend my foundation in using this, so there we go. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This Clarisonic brush head, the tits, the tits. It blended my foundation in so nicely. Like there's like no streaking whatsoever and it looks so natural. The next thing I'm gonna do is go in with a little bit of concealer. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Age Rewind. <gasps> So I really love applying this product with a damp Real Technique sponge. 
because I really have control over the product. Whereas like before I'd probably apply like way, way, way too much. Then whatever's left over, I'll put it on my Cupid's bow, my chin and my forehead. Going in with the NYX contour palette, I'm going to just apply that banana shade directly underneath to set everything in place. Before I go in with powder all over my face, I'm gonna go in and cream contour a little bit. I'm gonna use the Master Contour Stick by Maybelline. This is in deep. And with that same sponge, I'm going to blend it out. To set my cream contour, I'm gonna use the model's own Sculpt and Glow Matte Bronzing Powder. And I'm going to be applying a cream highlighter by Maybelline, and this one is the Master Strobing Liquid in Light. And I'm just going to take this on the back of my hand, and I am going to blend it in with my Real Technique sponge. I know I'm pretty much using this sponge for everything, but I'm just going to pop it right here. I feel like when you use a sponge to apply a cream highlighter, it looks a lot more natural than just using a powder. Like, look at that highlight. So pretty, I can't even get over it. But to set the highest point of my cheekbone, I am gonna go in with the Flower Beauty Highlighting Palette and I'm going to mix the pinky tone and the champagne tone. And I'm just going to pop this right here. Now I am gonna take a little bit of mascara and pop it on my lower lashes. For my lips, I'm gonna keep it pretty nude, simple, neutral. I'm gonna use this nude lip liner. This is nude by NYX. And it is their waterproof, retractable lip liner. All right, lips are on. Um, now the last thing you'll wanna do is set it all in place. Today I'm gonna use, like I did in the beginning, the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And just like that, you guys, that's the end of today's video. If you guys liked it, be sure to smash that like button. Like, no, seriously, smash it. Smash the like button. Let's see if we can get this video to 3,000 likes. That was my goal in my last video. We haven't hit it yet. I said if you guys want to see me in Bobito do the Boyfriend Buys My Makeup at Sephora, then get that video to 3,000 likes. We are at like 1,500 or a little bit less than 1,500. So go over there and like that video if you guys haven't already. And I don't think I have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Doses.